This video tutorial will show you how to create and run a MATLAB program. The command window is designed to execute individual commands one at a time. You can automate the execution of many commands or build a complex application by writing a MATLAB program. This is a collection of MATLAB commands and functions, also known as statements, stored on disk as a text file of type .m. You can create a new MATLAB program by clicking here, which opens the MATLAB editor. You can also create a MATLAB program from entries in the command history here. We will select these commands, then right-click to choose Create Script. This brings up the MATLAB editor again, which we will dock into the desktop for easier viewing. You save the file by clicking here and specifying a file name such as Simple. This creates a file on disk, which you can see here. You can run this type of MATLAB program, known as a script, by just clicking the Run button. You see that all the commands ran. You can also run the program by right-clicking the file itself and choosing Run. You can make changes just like using any text editor. We will change 10 to 1000 and save. You can type a script's name in the command window to run it. To call a program by typing its name, the file has to be located either in the current folder or on the MATLAB search path. The current folder is an important reference point for MATLAB file operations and is displayed in the current folder bar. The current folder browser displays the contents of the current folder and lets you change it by navigating the file system. You can open MATLAB files by double-clicking them here, or using the edit command. The MATLAB search path is a list of directories similar to a computer's system path. You add directories to the path by selecting Set Path from the Home tab. You can expand your MATLAB program by adding more commands and language constructs, such as We'll make x a column vector using the transpose operator and parentheses. Add a comment with the percent symbol. Add a for loop statement for k equals 1 to 5, which repeats the next set of commands five times. We will multiply the log of x by k, assign the result to each column of y, and add the end statement required for the for loop. There are a number of tools in the editor to help you write and format your code, such as Smart Indent. You can also access these tools from the right-click menu. Let's save the code, clear the workspace to remove the previous values of x and y, and run. Now when y is plotted, there are five lines, one for each of the columns in y. We can confirm that y is a 1000 by 5 matrix, by looking in the workspace browser. As well as MATLAB script files like this, you can also create MATLAB function files. MATLAB function files start with the function keyword and have a function name that should match the file name on disk. You can specify optional input parameters. Here, we will pass in the value for the for loop count and update the for loop. You can also optionally specify one or more output arguments. We will save it, clear our workspace, then call our function assigning the result to a variable g and specifying an input argument of 10. Here we see that there are 10 lines on the plot and g is the only variable returned to the MATLAB base workspace. You can call a MATLAB function or script from another function or script, allowing you to create a large multi-file application. You can browse examples of other MATLAB scripts by looking at the Examples section of the MATLAB Help. Click here to view the code in the editor, and double-click the title bar of a window to maximize it. This concludes the demonstration. You can try some of these features now in MATLAB or watch one of the other videos.